Well, as you can see, we will see how we multiply two matrices. Here we have the matrix A with matrix B multiplied gives us matrix C and I want to see how we multiply these two matrices and I'm not going to go to the basics or the details of how one does matrix multiplication you can always look up it was taught to you in your high school days uh, it was it's a very straightforward process and you all have multiplied two cross two matrices and three cross three matrices okay now we'll try to see how using a computer you can program this particular thing so we let's let's patiently watch what happens how exactly do you think you get this entry here the first element of c okay let's concentrate on this how do you get the first element of c as we know matrix multiplication we take the entire row of a the first row and the entire column of b the first column and take the dot product of these two things and you get this okay and every single entry here this entry sorry this entry will be multiplied with this and added with the product of this and this plus product of this and this this is simply the dot product the dot product of this thing and this thing the dot product is what you get here all right so as you can see in general if i say some entry of c some i some this entry of c which is basically fourth row and third column this is fourth row and third column for simplicity's sake let me assume the first row as zero row second row as the first row zero one two that's how we do in python right this is the zero row first row second row third row fourth row fifth row and sixth row and the columns are this is the zeroth column first column second column third column fourth column and fifth column so this particular entry then becomes the c of 3 comma 2 this entry okay how do you get this this is easy what you do is you look at the a3 the third this if this is zero if this is if this is 0, this becomes 1, this becomes 2, this becomes 3. So I take the third row of A, basically the fourth row, but in, in the language of uh, Python, we'll start with 0, we'll not start with 1, right? Or in your high school days, you would call it the first row, first column, this entry is 1, 1, but now we'll call it as A, 0, 0. This is B, 0, 0, okay? So take this A, 3, which is the entire thing, and take a dot product of that with the second column of b which is this 2 again if this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is, a, this is b of 2 okay so let me just make a note of that this is 0 1 2 this entire part i'll be taking and the dot product of these two things will give me c of 3 comma 2 and how is that this is going to be simply a of can you see what's happening this entry times this entry here okay a of 3 into what would that be a of 3 of 0 third row first column multiplied by b's second column and zero through this is the first entry right what what is this thing what what is this entry i'm sorry i could not block this properly i have just covered the points there so what is this entry this entry is is two b two zero okay i'm sorry b zero two second column and the first row zero through and second column okay b zero as, as you observe we we tend to get confused here which is again very common zero through and second column okay you add this now what exactly have you done you have taken this part and multiplied it with this part right now take the next thing which is this part multiplied with this part what would that be that would simply be your a 3 and changing colors just so that you can see what is what 3 remains the same you are still in the third row itself but you go to the first column okay and then b this is going to be 
your this part which is 1 b 1 comma 2 this part is b of 1 comma 2 so let me write that down here b of 1 and 2 okay and what will be the next entry plus a of 3 2 you can observe this thing and this thing times b of 2 2 observe very carefully as you proceed if you want to find out c of 3 2 all you got to do is you are to find c of 3 comma 2 you are taking a 3 a 3 a 3 remains the same and you are varying 0 0 1 2 and this goes on like this right you vary 0 1 2 and so on but then your b is again b 0 b 1 b 2 this is getting varied let me make a note of this this remains constant i put a green dot on top of things that are remaining the same and i am putting let's say a brown dot on things that are changing a0 a30 becomes a31 this is changing brown dot and a32 changing brown dot b02 2 is not changing so let me put a green dot here b 2, 2 doesn't change so I'll put a green dot here 2 doesn't change 2 doesn't change but then the 0 is changing here where here b of 0 changes b of 1 changes it becomes 0 1 2 so basically this particular place as you can see the 3 here comes and sits here throughout throughout you have 3 so whatever entry is here this comes and sits here comes and sits so comes and sits here and also comes and sits here and so on the two here as you can see all right the two here comes and sits the two here comes and sits here comes and sits here comes and sits here right so this is stare at this for a minute you know it, you are probably wondering what is this such a simple thing that i learned in my high school days why is he complicating it so much now this is what happens when you want to write a seemingly straightforward obvious thing that you have done with pen and paper when you want to convert that to a program you have to do it this way only okay so let me keep this aside this entire thing i will keep on my desktop and i'll try to code now Alright, so what should I do for any entry C of I comma J, okay, I will go with this is I, you see, you please observe, observe, I will use black ink here, if this is I and this is J, okay, you should put I here in A, okay, in B you have J, okay, you, you should simply put J here, 2 was actually J you see and then what varies is your what varies is your this thing this part this and this varies 0 0 then becomes 1 1 and becomes 2 2 and so on so you need to compute c of i comma j you need to compute c of i comma j for that you have a of i k times b of k j Though this will be k k will run from 0 to whatever 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay but then a i will remain the same a i 0 times b 0 j plus a i 1 times b 1 j plus a i 2 times b 2 j this 0 1 2 will be my new variable so just understand this even if you didn't understand it don't break your head just understand what is matrix multiplication and you try to write your code you will make lot loads of mistakes to begin with you will not know what is uh, happening take a 3 cross 3 matrix a another 3 cross 3 matrix b okay don't take 6 cross 6 to begin with all right try to figure out what is your c matrix which is the product of a and b the high school matrix multiplication way now let's go ahead and try to see how this can be programmed.